Okay, well, it's gonna be a little bright, but it's okay. We're we're fine. I'm literally filming a video, and I actually have this set up in my car to where it's not gonna fall. So I'm gonna start talking. Hi guys. So yeah, this lighting is wonderful right now, but it is okay because we are going to go on an adventure together. Not really. I'm just going to Target as usual. I'm house sitting as usual. Let's let's do this. Maybe that will. Oh, okay. 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 So I'm gonna tell you about what's been kind of sort of happening recently. I haven't posted in two months and then I haven't filmed in longer and I also like probably by the time this is up it's probably been more than two months. I've just been so busy with school and like everything and I just haven't been inspired. I actually filmed like one video while I was house sitting last time. Like I've house sat since I've house sat last time that you saw me but I never posted it because I was never home to edit. So yeah. Okay, well, it's not a place anyway. So that's really all I gotta say. Like I, I don't really have an excuse, but I also don't really not. <laughs> and I'm on my way to Starbucks right now, actually. In the past, oh, that's what I was gonna tell you. So the past like month, I haven't been drinking coffee just because I feel like it was kind of contributing to my migraines, as I was having migraines all the time, and like I was really like addicted to caffeine, basically you don't drink it then like you'll get a headache which I would drink it every day so I shouldn't have been getting headaches but I think it was like the actual I don't know just like my brain doesn't need caffeine I'm guessing but I'm going to Starbucks because I really just want to try peppermint mocha I've never had a peppermint mocha before and if y'all have been watching my channel you know that I eat healthy and I kind of mostly avoid pretty much all dairy so I'm gonna try with almond milk I've never substituted anything at Starbucks before but I have like enough points to where I can get like a free substitution so we're gonna try it I'm also getting like half decaf because I didn't know you could do that and I saw the options I was like looking in the app that is cool so I'm gonna do half decaf because I do want some caffeine because I have to work on a paper today <sighs> which is also another reason that I just don't propose because I always have a paper to be doing Kelly Hopefully you can't really hear that squeaking too much, and if you can, I'm sorry. Okay, love that. I've been mostly eating healthy. I try to eat healthy. Most of the time I do, if I feel like cheating or something, and I want to eat something that's like really sugary, then I'm going to eat it because I don't want to like hold myself back to where like I'm like being deprived or whatever. So yeah, I just basically try to avoid dairy. The only time I really eat dairy is when I'm eating pizza isn't that often because pizza isn't very healthy but I really want to try like the Daya pizza like it's a dairy free pizza I really want to try that but eat Chelsea have I been I don't know if I've even like filmed since Taylor Swift's new album came out I have no idea but that feels like it was so long ago and it's new <laughs> and um yeah so but yeah basically I love her new album and I can't wait to go to her concert because I want to Wow, I get so sweaty when I drive. I'm going to Target basically to like, okay, the original idea for this video, because like when I'm house sitting, I pretty much just get like inspiration to film because when I'm at home, I don't really want to film because I don't feel like it because I got too much stuff to do, which I still have a lot of stuff to do today, but like it's 8.43 right now, which is kind of later than I expected. Like I wanted to leave my house by 8, but it's fine. Welcome to Drive with Alleys. If you've never seen one of these, I just, I feel like I go back and forth between topics like every two seconds, but like I can't remember because I get distracted because I'm driving. That's been basically the only change since my last like update is that I don't drink coffee anymore. I'm about to go drink some. When I do, it's decaf. I haven't had caffeinated coffee at all like since a month. I'm actually proud of myself. I did not think I was gonna be able to do it, but like I really haven't had too many headaches at all. Oh, so at Target, I wanna get, I literally like went off this video again. I said, thinking of this video, as I was saying, how I get inspired at house sitting. I wanted to make this video like getting in the winter spirit or something like that because I don't know, like I just wanted to start off getting like a peppermint mocha and get like some cute holiday stuff from like the dollar spot. Hopefully they're gonna have some cute blanket scarves. I hope they do. Maybe I'll just find some cute things that I wanna go ahead and like get Christmas gifts or something. I don't know, I'm just so ready. I'm not skipping Thanksgiving, I promise. I love Thanksgiving, but I do love me some Christmas. I'm almost at Starbucks and then I'm gonna go get it and then go to Target 
and then I'll see you after. I realized whenever I did that, I was like, I need to try this. I've never tried one before. I got it without whipped cream, half decaf, and with almond milk. So, I'm kind of shaky. Just because I'm nervous. It's different than I was expecting. When I walked in, there was a line like to the door inside and then a line to like the street and the drive through and I walked up, looked to see if this had my name on it, and left. Mobile ordering is the best. It's not the best, it's not the worst. I don't know. So you have to target. I guess I'll show you what I got when I get back to the house. I'm not gonna go anywhere else. I was gonna go to Dollar Tree, but I don't have any need to go there. I just always go there when I'm here. Oh, it's 9.48. I didn't do too bad. Someone just let their cart slam into that car. That girl sees the cart. She doesn't. I mean, I wouldn't be happy either if someone slammed the car in my car, but I mean, I was pulling out right when she was walking up, so what if she thought I did? Oh well. I didn't do it! Why does my car sound like a siren? What the heck? So I was thinking, I was saying how this doesn't taste like that amazing, it just tastes kind of like coffee with like pepper and extract in it. It tastes like weird and I was thinking if it's because the almond milk, the whole milk slash 2%, whatever they normally use, always like makes it thicker so like almond milk is a lot more thin and watery so maybe that's why it doesn't taste age good i don't know what plant milk could copy cow's milk the best oh and i tried to make oat milk the other day i feel like i probably just blended it for too long because it said to blend it for two minutes and mine was blended after like 30 seconds so i just kept blending it because i was like maybe it's not done or something and then it was like super slimy it literally tasted like i was drinking oatmeal i mean i should have expected that i bet i have I'm guessing a lot of y'all have heard of Thrive Market and I ordered from there like about a month ago and I just got a few things. I did my free like membership trial and I was thinking about ordering a second time like within that month so that I could at least get something out of it but I didn't and then I like canceled my membership because obviously I didn't want to get charged $60. They say that like it's a lot cheaper than the store but to me it's really not and if it is that it's by a few cents I guess it'd be good for people who like need a lot of pantry essentials but because I go to like Sprouts and got all of my stuff in bulk which is a lot cheaper than how they sell it plus it's more packaging. I got um like a bag of raisins, rice cakes. With a few of their products online you have to buy two of them which kind of like defeats the purpose to me like if I haven't even tried it yet like and then I have to buy two of them. So I got the rice cakes so it's like at least rice cakes they're wrapped so they're not gonna get stale and like they won't go bad. I haven't even been through half the first pack because they're just not that good. They taste like the Quaker ones so if those are the ones you eat then they're good. I just got like the brown rice lightly salted ones. I got those London bird ones if you saw like my healthy grocery haul and those are so good. Like they were so good. Nothing can compare. I think I'm gonna try and get to this house like without a GPS. Like I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Their chocolate chips, they had like dark chocolate chips that didn't have dairy in them. So they were basically like the Enjoy Life ones, but the Enjoy Life ones are kind of expensive. They're like four dollars. They're probably like four fifty. It's either nine or eleven ounces, and then I calculated it out and it ended up being like the same price like as the Enjoy Life ones by ounces. You just got like more product, but it was more expensive, but I just thought that. And then you had to buy two. I'm just like, that's ridiculous. You're spending like 16 to $18 on chocolate chips. Like, I don't know. Like, even though they might last a long time, I still just like, that's crazy to me. I told you I got a bag of raisins and I feel like those were like way overpriced because it was like a bag of like, I don't know how many ounces. And then it was like, like $7 or something. And even the ingredients are just raisins. It's not like it's because the ingredients are like a thousand times better. It's like the same exact thing except they're like $2 at Target. I'm just like, what? Nah. I think this is where I turn. This is where I turn. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, um. Oh, and I also ordered tortilla chips from it, which were really good. I don't even think 
you had to buy two for them, but I bought two because I'm like, you can't go wrong with tortilla chips. And it's a pretty big bag for like three dollars maybe. So it wasn't that bad. Like that's the only thing I'd revive with them. Like when I think about it, it's like the same price as like the other stores. And I don't have to order online and I don't have to have a sixty dollar membership fee to me. Like it's not worth it. I guess we can just finish talking inside. Is this lighting alright? It's not bad. Alright, crikey. I know I got a target bag, like what the heck? I literally was like my thing was all full and then I realized that I forgot my bag at Chihuahua. So first, I was hoping to find a blanket scarf because the only one that I have, it's like holiday colors, which isn't bad. It won't match everything. Last year, I wanted one of these so bad from the dollar spot because it's like $7 for a full-on blanket scarf that's good quality. The one that I have was like 27 and then another thing I got from the dollar spot was these. This was the only thing that I could justify getting for Christmas because like I know that these are gonna be lying gone in like two seconds. And they were a dollar and there's 60 like gift tags in here and we always go through gift tags so fast. These two things are also from the dollar spot. I love the dollar spot. So I got these thinking that they were, I didn't even look at the price because I just thought they were a dollar, but there were three. But I still bought them because like I have a red pair like this and I really like them and I wear them all year round. And like this is like a pair of socks that you can wear all year round it's just green i'm wearing green right now doesn't mean it's christmas now these socks kind of funny i picked this up and was like oh my goodness i literally need this i was looking at the other ones and it said like world's best boss like i'm thankful for you like all these other things and i was like these are definitely for like gifts for people like someone should be giving this to me but i'm just gonna give it to myself Show. I got myself these best pet sitter ever because what am I doing right now? Sorry if you can hear stinking licking because stinking Bailey's just licking herself all up. What the heck? I was like not even thinking about this. I'm getting them. I got Dave's Killer Bread because this is what I always get except normally I get the good seed one. But there was only one and it was kind of smushed. Every time that I get Dave's Killer Bread, it's 20% off on Target Circle. What's really the difference? Sorry. I got this. And then I got this Celestial Herbal Tea Sampler. I was going to get the peppermint one. I really should try like a different kind. And then I saw this and it was like, the same price as the regular ones except you get to try every single one. But there's 18 and there's five different flavors. So I don't know how they divided that. Up. Hopefully the peppermint is what has the most. And then, okay, there's a whole story behind this. If you don't want to hear about a story about tampons, then you can just skip. We got to get close and personal for this. My shirt says go your own way, by the way. Okay, so I bought a menstrual cup probably two months ago because I've had two periods since it. And I like am avoiding buying tampons and pads because I don't want to buy them because I don't want to have them because it, that just like leads me to like want to use those instead of trying to use my menstrual cup. I'm supposed to start in like a day or two so I just had to have these just in case I'm like I'm out. And this was like the tiniest pack, a 16 pack and they had to be the pocket ones. I was like whatever. I expected putting it in to be hard but I expected it to just be something that would like actually physically be able to go in your body and then you just get used to it and like no I like tried I need to try again because I haven't tried since the first time I tried it because like I'm just so let down like I was just like shocked I don't understand why can't you just fold it and get up there i got the salt soft cup samantha ravindal has done like this series of menstrual cup reviews and that seemed to be the one that she liked better like she liked it so much better than the diva cup but then when i look at the diva cup the diva cup is like so much like thinner like this way and the salt cup is more like this but it's like softer but it's like wider what 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 so yeah, I guess that's all I'm going to do today. If I ever get that menstrual cup in my body, there will be a whole video on it, bro. And also, please, can you please just tell me what you want to see down below? If, like, there's a multiple people that want to see something, then I'll do it. Even if I don't want to do it, I'll do it, bro. Because I'll be passionate about it because y'all are passionate about it. Okay. I'm going to try and get some more friends to make videos with me. Not, like, get some more friends. Because, I mean, I think I, am, I think I have a few friends. I mean, my friends. And if I do that, tell me down below what you want to see with my friends. So, yeah. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I haven't said this in so long. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below. And please give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Bye. 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 Bye, 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 bye.
bye, 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 bye.